Okay, so this is day two and I'm burning this candle again. I did not trim the wicks and as you can see, um, the burn is beautiful. I, I love the size of the flame and everything like that. Yesterday, the flames were kind of small and I was concerned. I was like, oh my God, is it going to go out? You know, but I do know that I did do some stuff um, to these wicks. Like I took this wick out of these wicks out of another candle that I had. So it could have been the fact that you know, they were not primed correctly. That could have been the reason. So I didn't want to just, you know, give up on them. I wanted to just let them burn down to get to the better part of the wick, if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, if you guys have attended my uh, three wick tumbler classes, matter of fact, I'll leave that inside the description box. Uh, or you did the parasoy or soy class that we have, the basic candle making then you will have these size wicks, which are um, listed in the class. Because I had people ask me, oh, what size wicks are they? What size wicks are they? What size wicks? And I'm like, you know, a wick size is nothing without knowing the wax. Okay. All right. So, yes, your customer will get the candle. And most of the time, they will not trim the wick. So, most of the time when I test, I don't trim the wick either just to see how it will burn. If the customer get it, you know. I I have sisters that I send candles to and, you know, best friend and stuff like that. And I know I've never heard her mention nothing about trimming the wick. <laughs> Even if you put all of those notes on the candle, they won't trim the wick. So sometimes I test uh, this way just so I can be able to say, okay, if they don't trim the wick, this is how it will burn. So... I've already burnt this for four hours. This is going on my, well, over four hours. It was over four hours yesterday. So today is my second burn. And this is the best way to um, do proper testing on a candle. Always come back and do another four hour, another four hour, and try to burn it down to the bottom. In this case, I got about 13, 14 ounces of wax inside this vessel. So it's going to take me a very long time to burn this candle down. But I will let you know this. It smell amazing, guys. And I always tell you guys to do something on your line with three wicks or two wicks or 10, um, just to give people that bang, you know, just to give people that like, you know, that longevity of a candle, which is like a three wick tumbler, of 14 ounces to give somebody a long burn or just having something with a phenomenal hot throw. You know, if you got one candle, and let's say we have that candle in a huge living room and it, it, you know, it does not have a large opening. And we could just say something like a salsa jar, which is like um, two to three inches of an opening. You know, it's not going to give you a, a, a lot of coverage. Like you're not going to cover a lot of square feet, you know. But if you have something like this uh, or a three wick tumbler or three wick something, you know, it, and it's, it's large, you know, it's going to give you a phenomenal hot throw, okay? Uh, so the fragrance that I use, I made sure I use a very nice, strong fragrance. This is a sweet potato fragrance that I had from, I think, last year. I might have had this from last year. And it was really, really, really strong. And also, I have another one. It's Coconut Lime Varbena. And I get that from Fragrance Buddy, and that is very strong. And I don't believe that they're diluting that one, you know, because I had quite a few people who said that they purchased that fragrance and had the same exact result. They like, this fragrance is too strong. So, yes. All right. So, listen, another cool thing I want to mention is I'm not using 6006 inside this candle. I'm actually testing a new wax, and I'll let you guys know all about this wax. I'm actually going to review this wax. It's the Parasoy. And this is an option for people who live in Georgia or the surrounding states where they want to order um, a different wax. And then a lot of people complain about the bubbles of 6006. And, you know, I just have a lot of different complaints about 6006, the suiting. Um, this particular wax, they said outburn 6006 or your money back. And so far, it does have that phenomenal hot throw, just like 6006. And as you can see, it burns beautifully. Um, the way it's burning, it kind of looks like a coconut wax to me. <laughs> like um, The tops are really smooth and beautiful. And so I'm going to be doing a review on this wax, guys. I'm definitely going to do a review on this wax because I want to let you guys see 
um, the texture of the wax. I want to just give you guys a full breakdown. Um, and this would be for people who have been having problems with 6006, which I have never had issues with it. But, you know, people in different climates do experience different issues, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish burning this down. And I will keep you guys updated with this particular candle. Um, you guys have a wonderful day.